Arak Eight Peaks. Queen of the Silver Depths. Few living remember its glory. But the dwarfs do not forget. A warrior king returns to take his ancestral throne from a cruel and cunning warlord, hitherto unchallenged. What fate awaits them in the darkness? Welcome back everyone, Quistine here with more Total War Warhammer 3, King and the Warlord, the war for Carrick 8 Peaks over here. I have installed a mod that is doubling the unit size of each and every single unit, so we're going to have some really big battles right now. Okay, so I'm just going to pull back right here, we're going to move Belagar, and we're going to move the other people we do have and try and hold the line, so to speak. It also doubles the HP of single entity, so yes, Belagar and Lords, Heroes, etc. will still be uh, pretty powerful, no lie about that. Oof. That one is gonna have a really bad day. Burn, baby, burn. That's a lot of green skins. Alright, squig hoppers coming in. So let's burn them all in the choke point over here. Although we might want to turn some of those iron drakes around and also throw a rune right there. Ooh, that is sweet. Quick hoppers coming in, nasty sculptors coming in. Let's pull these guys back. We need to engage them in melee. Okay. Try and turn around right there. I can't afford to take some damage here, but I'd rather not. Here we go. Yeah, sometimes with range units, you do gotta be careful about what you're doing. Alright, reposition. Okay, that's repositioned. Get these dwarf warriors on that particular side as well. able to fire. Alright, let's try and move them there. Get them over there. And Bugman's Rangers are gonna go on that particular side. It will be over soon. Four boys incoming. Pick my guys up. Here, I got more of them. 
apparently I need to get myself some damn gyrocopters because without them, things are gonna be pretty nasty. Alright, decisive victory over on that particular side. One other army of Skarsnik destroyed. Another great, glorious victory. Let's get that filled. We are going to have to pursue over here, unfortunately. Ooh, we don't have the money. No problem. Very well. I will do as you ask. An accord bound by runic law. Alright, that battle is gonna be pretty easy. And we can get some gyrocopters here as well. Hmm. Take the tribute. Time for a reckoning. So apparently, <laughs> hilariously enough. Okay, you're just bronze. How many can we recruit here? Alright, let's get two. Ready to war. Summon me if you dare. For the wisdom of the layer, let us begin. Ready. Selling more money. So is Scrag losing there? No clue. My hand hovers close to my blade. Atten. Now will be enough. Ready. I'd hope so. Lord of the Deeps. Let's get Master Crafted Weapon. Yes. Grudge Bearer. Scouting. Iron Hammer. Inherited Arms. Lund's Air. My axe thirsts for war. Alright, so two gyrocopters, two heroes. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. I can't move him. I could wait a bit longer. So if I get rid of two more... Because yep. I... Yes. I could go with just two, but I think I'd rather have a couple more. Snitch, snitch, snitch. I think I'd rather avoid um we from another hold arrive. Fine. Yeah, that will work. Clan Burms is about to have a really bad day. Oh then. We march on Karakay Peaks for, uh, in encamp stance. So I'm gonna need to conjure up some more money. There are possibilities on that. There it is. I stand defiant. Lord of the Umbra. On to vengeance! All that rock above feels grand. Move! Hey! Or an artillery train to speed us up! On your skills, shall we? <laughs> Be at his spring! Or get out of here before. Not since the coming of Morga has. An ad. All right. What else 
can we do? Mm. I'd rather not fight them right now, but I can. What? So it might just be a good idea. Wait, Elspeth? No. Maybe it would be a good idea to pick up. Okay, uh, Zupa. That way from another hold arrive. Tis a great day. Okay. That way from. Jeez. Casting the rules. Talk about a lot of shit. Lord of Clan Borgrim. Master of the world. For the wisdom of the way. Summon me if you. Now, Karakurn, you have any conception of the word fricking? My throng stands ready. Restraint? I suppose not. My axe thirsts for war. It is time. I could obviously sell these uh, territories. Let us begin. Oh, screw it. Go We're going then. for it. No choice. I'm gonna go bankrupt. Besides, Averheim will pay me nicely if I do it for him. Come then. Only Sigmas. Just get that. Ready. <laughs> True King. Demon Slayer. Do I need a full army? No. Armed and ready. No, I do not. Time for a reckoning. My axe thirsts for war. What? How many can I afford? Three. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of these two. Close. I'd rather not. I think I can win that one. In particular. Onward. To declare war on Ikaclaw or not. Deepwood protects. Wait. Return to your cold stone halls, man. Yeah, that will do. For a moment. It's probably inevitable that yes. I am going to take some damage. At least we don't have a troll hammer torpedo in the Grudge Settler army. I also like the new icons for these guys right here. For the wisdom of the land. So here we just want this perverse element, and then I'll try and merge these forces together. Well, we also got you right there, boys. Uh, take that. Force march stands, huh? Let's see what's gonna happen. Sure, Elspeth. Whatever you say. Please, by all means. I don't know who to give that freaking Akondorf to. Mm. You're on your own, my dudes. Okay, so they didn't take attrition damage. You have my hammer. Well, gentlemen, we got more of Skarsnik over here. It is time. My Thirsts for war. Ah, Alright, says heroic victory. I don't begin. believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, here. Let's just get these two. Oh, I know. Bankruptcy, inevitability, etc. What's the movement range for these guys? 
Uh, 18%, so should be enough. I'm not particularly concerned about Vlad for the moment. For the moment. To battle. Take these guys out. Okay, another. <laughs> I swear, this army just keeps coming back and back and back. It's like the infinite freaking spawn of Skarsnik. Like, uh, piss off. So, right here with this specific bell, we're just gonna deploy everyone right here to obliterate them the moment they do spawn. Oh, yes. Hilarity will ensue. Try and also kill the one right there. That is a lot of green skins. Thankfully, most of them are not particularly dangerous, so we'll take it. Oh, do they burn so pretty. The killing will never stop as long as Skarsnik is alive. Well, they came, we saw them, they died. All of them. With Bell's sorted out, I am going to sell this to Elspeth, get the defensive alliance so I can pick up some replenishment over there, get a non-aggression pact with Karakazul, and that would be it for the moment. I know, I'm running out of money, but soon enough I'll have Karakate Peaks. Next turn I should have Karakate Peaks. Defeating the Ogre army over here certainly wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but at least it's sorted out. Can I get... No, I can't get another Engineer. I can get another Fane. Because Lagar has a significant advantage in terms of picking up Fanes through his special skill line. So, Queek is not going to attack me. I'll just leave the Grudge Settler army in position over there. And with Karakate Peaks under my control, hopefully... I should be able to, at the very least, solve all my economic problems. I know, to some extent, it could have been better had I... Uh... Okay, it's not going to be enough. Right. Sweet Lord, he's recruiting another one. Okay, then. Well, we got the garrison of Karakate Peaks over there, and also... 
they are going to try and stand in my way. Let's see where they're going to come from and deploy our forces to greet them, as all the things should be. I was a bit... Uh, normal. Uh, like, normally with Iron Drake, apparently not in this case. Anyway, and it actually worked out quite well. So, we got them coming in over there. We could use that pass right there to uh, form up. For, uh, formidably, but I think I'm just going to deploy right here, get the heroes over here, and yeah, just uh, form ourselves up. Okay, let's see over there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, just uh, get those Iron Drakes, Belagar, and the boys in front of them. Not too close though, because they might spawn here. So maybe we just want to pull back a bit here. Alright, here I come. Yep, as expected. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> What's better than ten iron drakes or sixteen? Six iron drakes. Let them burn. Oh, I know my melee units are gonna take some serious damage over there, but it's no problem. That's the garrison right there. Reform right here. Nothing can stop us for the Take aim! Get him! Sweet. Lord, that is something. Understood. Range far! Range fast! Nothing can stop us! We're gonna need to reposition our guys right here. Alright. Door warriors with great weapons are, uh... The wise up. Gotta be a bit careful there. Yes. Grenade coming in. They're gone. They're all gone. Try and get him to... That was the last of Skarsnik. I do love the smell of toasted goblins in the morning. And it's also nice having a computer that finally can handle these kind of large-scale battles. <laughs> I do love extreme, uh, extreme still. Okay, so the actual casualties are not quite as big as I would have anticipated necessarily. And I also haven't seen Skarsen at all in all of this. Okay, Carrick, eight beats. 
The mountain is ours. It is finally done. Economic so uh, problems have been resolved. It's time to start pumping out the units. Time for a reckoning. For the wisdom of the way. Let us be about this. Onward. Summon me if you dare. Move. Very good. I know, I know. Still <laughs> some issues. All right, let's get the uh, High King Authority finished. Bring me law and lost wisdom. That this should be enough. Yep. Yes. Is Karsnik dead at the very least? Let's see. Well, almost. Wait, mutinous kids? Oh, these guys, okay. Very well. I will do as you ask. So they're concerned the mutinous kids in that entire affair. Revenge incarnate. To battle? Bam, Karake picks is ours now. Bellica. What do I do here, is the real question. Don't get me started on how that's gonna work. Uh, can't do it. Oh, money. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot. I, re I should have realized. Sigma. All right. Welcome, ancient ally. Sigma's will. Greetings. All you survey are loyal to me, so I advise caution. I am a warrior of the dragon. I will hear what you have to say. There we go. Do I need to right now? Probably not. Yeah, we're gonna sell all of this to Elspeth. Um, go for more growth. Quick. It shall be done. We don't need that. Ready. So what do I want? Is the real fundamental question here. Well, one of the things I do clearly Lord want to get rid of him. Do I want to go with the troll hammer for Belagar? Does he need it? No. <laughs> he kind of doesn't, really. I mean, he's incredibly powerful as is. That's one of the things to point out. So we're just going to go with some hammers. Ooh, no, no, no. Yep. And I'm not going to recruit anything right now because, yeah, I'm losing a bit of money. Which will be resolved soon enough. Yes. What's the situation here? Okay, so Karakazul seems to be in a decent spot. I greet you with Okay. The Celestial Yeah. What dost thou want, dwarf? I guess the changeling has been wiped out. He doesn't have another army, so that's one of the things I will certainly use against him. Slayer. Okay, what's our... how far are we from? Alright, we're good. We're good. Okay, then. Yeah, not surprised. Hello, Scrag. He is gonna reclaim it, but it doesn't matter. We don't care about this, really. I, I'm gonna give it all to Elspeth. I would sell it to Carl, but... Yeah, at this particular point. Scarsneck! He finally has existed! Look at the rodent. Come. Ooh, that is a nasty one, but I am going to win it, so it's like, stop wasting my fucking time. I know what you're probably thinking. Move him here. Let me take that out. Okay. Right. Let us begin. Bring them. Don't worry, we will fight Scrag as we should. Wait, didn't I move Belagar outside there? 
weird. True king. Brother well, that's sorted out, gentlemen. Skarsnik is dead. What a joyous occasion. Bell, uh, Grim Brindle is dead, unfortunately. What? Dying hiding is a crap do. Move it, exposed. Up that, increase that. Bernard, by the grudge bearer's will. Hmm. Prang for the wisdom of the way. Yeah, whatever. You ain't boss. Yes. I. Grudge bearer. What do I want? It's an interesting question. I'd say some artillery too. Iron armor. Dolly, attack! This gotcha is bored. I stand defiant. Moving out. All right. So with that sort out, we're gonna claim this particular territory, the Black Rag, and we're gonna give it to Forgrim because we know we can confederate Forgrim at one point. Still a bit far away. Time for a reckoning. My he gets first. removed. <laughs> Do I want to? Lost wisdom, and I shall treat yep. with you well. I trust. True king of eight peaks. I'll get Forgrim to deal with these guys. Damn, clan verms, huh? Summon me if you dare. All right, get to the Rune of Grimnir. What? Over here, we want... Well, we want Rune of Negation. We actually just want to get Strike the Runes. The actual runes there are not pretty important. Incarnate. Deadly Onslaught Ready. and Ballistic Calibration. It's always better than Grudge Raker because, yes, Grudge Raker can do more damage and it's actually going to make him far more useful in combat, but Ballistic Calibration and the reload skill it provides is in a lot of ways significantly useful. No, significantly more useful. We could upgrade those two, or all of these guys. Let's say we upgrade two of them. What? Or all of them, really. That's the little thing I like about using the Warband Upgrade mod. It gives you so much more variety in terms of, like, for the wisdom of the combat situation. Mind you, you do pay an economic price for it, because, like, obviously the higher tier units are going to have a bigger... Uh, they're gonna have a bigger upkeep. Okay, we can sell that to Our Elspeth, actually. Like Carrick, Asgabars, whatever. It seems. There we go. So should I? Oh shit! <laughs> well, that is unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. Very unfortunate. Um. <laughs> Demon Slayer? No. Let's go with the strategist. We're gonna switch to full local opening capacity. We're not gonna finish that. For the wisdom of Valea. Shit, that was a mistake. Whatever, whatever. But well, we we're gonna get some quarrelers anyway, so might as well. Yeah, snitch. No, sorry, snitch. What the hell am I talking about? Alright, that should be able to defeat Quake while we go deal with Bla Black Rag. So what I'm going to do is get Forgrim to deal with Clan Verms and deal with the Greenskins there while I tackle everything. Oh, you little freaking shit! Aren't you special? 
Mind you, he only has clan rats, so it's not really gonna be too much of a of a problem. Okay, Karakazole. Come, come, kin. We could also Hello Talbayam. Give me that trade agreement, I will thank you for it. What is the effect actually? Because I forgot. Like lower crew rank, unit experience. Oh jeez, <laughs> forget that. You know, you know that unit experience that we're that we see though. That's uh, kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty fucking yes. crazy. Yes. So just. Yes. Would, no. uh, yeah, if I wait, then Karakazul will just take it from me, so I would rather not do so. Okay, let's sell this. Oh, he's already at war with him. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see, let's see. Creeping death, get the alliance, get all the money. Freaking snitch. I could recruit another lord just so I can force march him. Because he's not going to be able to get there. Yeah, we're going to need another lord over here. Uh, let's see a demon slayer. Oh yes, that's going to be good. I'm sorted. Demon slayer. Oh yeah, we can do more, like this. Okay, so right here we're going to engage in a glorious battle against Scrag and then take Matorka uh, back again. Well, let's see what the big uh, ogre boy has. Well, it would seem like our starting position over here is actually quite ideal. So uh, let's deploy and start pulverizing some ogres over here. We do have a good amount of heroes, so we will deploy our iron drakes over here. I may wish to stop them from doing so. Yeah, they're going to hold the flank. Because there is like little chance that the ogres over here are going to do anything tangible. We're just gonna leave some of these guys over here. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go do it. Over bowls. That's a hunter. Let's go kill him. I mean, they're not really designed against heroes. Oh shit. Alright, I wonder how much punishment Scrag is going to be willing to take before he decides, yeah, let's try and change things around. You know, it's bad enough with gyrocopters when they increase their unit size, but 24 is going to increase uh, the difficulty in controlling these damn things even worse. Let's just try and use the troll hammers. Don't 
All right, Ogre Bulls. There we go. Here they come. The minor line will be able to hold them there. While the frontal assault will be dealt with by a significant number. Alright, pull these guys back, but we gotta deal with the charge here because we can't really let them reach our lines unless we want that to happen. Saber Tusk, so. and Ogre Bulls right there dealt with. Let's do a flanking maneuver with the Miners. If they're eager to get themselves killed, why not oblige the bastards? Nope. Oh. Ow, the one that hurt. Execution squad awaits uh, Scrag right there. letting them walk away though. Though maybe we should. Oh, well, Scrag certainly did the number on my guys. Or one of my guys. But yeah, so much for the mighty ogres. You know, whenever a hill plays a strategic role in a battle, I keep always thinking about that one episode of Time Commanders. Yes, I have been playing Total War that long. Uh, but that one specific episode... Okay, I can deal with him. That one specific episode where they were fighting the Battle of the Catalonian Fields, and it's like this kind of situation where... Alright, so Ikeclaw is coming. We can deal with him, no problem. So if he attacks here, we'll crush him. Let's get him some HP. I mean, the real strength of that particular army is Belagar himself. Let us begin. Friend of Grimnir. For the wisdom of Valea. Yes. Requisition for more ammo. It's more important to have ammo. Like, there's so many battles with range-centric armies that you just literally run out of it. Underway trade network and to scrutinize. Um, Onward. Guild actions or whatever. Demon Slayer. Okay, now over here. Summon me if you dare. Bit of a money problem. Dishonored. Here's an idea. We shall Instead of trying to make it. Oh, okay. So I do need to. All right. All right. That will do. 
Hail. Do not be intimidated. Hmm. Aye. Sartosa. Well, I'm not particularly concerned about Sartosa, that's all I'm gonna say. Freaking Hickeclaw ruining my day. Death scene. <laughs> What else could I build there? Nothing. That's a bit of a problem. Once again, we're out of money. So we can fix that possible. real quick. If this is bad. We don't see Meow Ying just yet, and she's me. obviously not going to come for us here, so we can easily declare war on I her. Holy moly! You, but do try to focus. Thank you, Meow Ying. I will appreciate your glorious sacrifice. Okay, so we got all of these guys coming in. Do we want another thing? Not at the moment. I mean, they're good, they're useful, but going full hero... Uh, let's just say... Yeah, let's do it. Whatever. It's just that I have reservations about, like, full hero stacks. Unless it's, of course, freaking Grimgore, because he's freaking Grimgore. <laughs> okay, so we got 11 turns for the next one. If we win this... Like, we're obviously gonna win this one, right? I'm not particularly sure. So, Scroft, Queek, run into your little hidey hole. Honestly, I think like the gar actual freaking garrison over there that I have. Yep. That is gonna be. Wow, okay. Jeez. I didn't think I was gonna smash Nick, it's half freaking half army. I mean, I know I'm using AR mods, but keep in mind, I do remove settlement auto-resolve benefits, so, like, those kind of casualties? Jeez. The axe for war. Well, you guys are dead. Keep your axes close. My axe for war. So, this army... <laughs> Alright, we got that one sorted. What's going on here? You little shit. Aren't you a Bane little freaking wallop? Moving exposed. No, you failed, failed. Something over there. Alright, I just want to deal with client burns over here, that's the reason. And then Oh my gosh, you guys don't give a fuck. Oh boy, can I deal with this yes. without relying? Yes. Yeah, I can, I can. Sweet lord, that is something. What in the freaking world? Okay. Oh yeah, I can definitely deal with that. And just move this army around here to deal with this. Because the question is how much... No, need my warp token stash. Do I even need the units here? I, I know I could win without resolve, but I'm trying to keep the plane, right? Um, thanks for all them freaking money, Elspeth. Oh yeah, definitely. So I guess the question is, like, how much do I want to take that whole freaking thing to what extreme, right? Like, how many units do I need here, as opposed to here? Well, let's say we get the artillery. We don't really need, necessarily, a whole bloody lot over here. Yeah, there, there's no way Malagor is winning that one. My concerns remain. Yep, yeah, let's just get to that engineer capacity. To do then. Hmm. I think I'd rather. My yeah, let's just. Only death. 
Oh, he's even freaking running away. By the way, the AI doesn't run away because of the mods of that resolve. Yep. How much for the Skaven Rodent? Get the money. You're gonna have to be a bit careful over there. Another, some more quarrelers. I do, I don't like going full on with respect to... No, not that one. No. <laughs> no, I already got through this innovation. Okay, fair enough. Not bad. It is time. No, oh, okay, so if I go too much there. There we go. He will attack. Don't get me wrong on that one. Follow it. It is good to see up. Okay. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. Come, come. I'm kid. far away with Let confederations, all of them. Great. Follow Dawei. Wait, can I actually do any of these? No. Alright, uh, so none of those, that's a bit weird, I mean you're supposed to, well I don't know if you are actually. Yeah. defenses are lowered for you. Anyway, yep, uh, can we get that military alliance for something else? No. I will. There we go. That should be enough, assuming Malagor attacks us. And he will, because he is Malagor. And he's suicidal. Yeah, the armies that I have in the west there. Like, Belagar needs to sort this shit out with Black Crag so I can go deal with Queek. Why do you want to tell Beth? If you're hoping I'll join you against Vlad, uh, no. <laughs> she is on her own in that, gentlemen. I'm gonna put this army in uh, an ambush stand somewhere in the middle, just so we, we can try and lure some of them in. Our ancestors would be proud. Okay, right there. Death seek. Or we can take the risk. This way. Why you little shits? Yes. Slayer. Quickest way through is down. Move here. Yeah, that's not the battle they can win. If only Malagor would surrender, wouldn't that be a thing? What's my reputation with him? Let's get him to join some wars that would benefit us. A lot of wars. A lot more wars. <laughs> uh, you're wondering why I'm doing this. Well, that's just because I'm a lazy bastard that wants to screw over poor Forgrim. Also because I want to confederate them. The Empire's foes do not escape the grant. Yeah, you're free to go. Alright, so that's a piece of grooming right there. If you dare. The throng agrees, poets. We're gonna give all of this to him. Or a good portion of that. Yeah, I'm gonna disband the regiments right now. Well, m many of them, at least the melee oh, no. ones. Just gonna keep them in reserve. The wisdom of Valea. As the High King commands. 
Summon me if you dare. Let us be about this. So we're in a situation where this army can... Like, I'm not concerned about this, really. <laughs> I'm gonna need to play defensively, maybe, until Belagar shows up. Because, yeah, now we're gonna force march all the way here. Uh, Elias Sorrow. What's my relationship with him? Honor to your ancestors! Because if I could get to Confederation with him... Well, I'll decide that later. That is it for the moment. We took Caracade Peaks, we beat the crap out of Scrag, Scarsnake, and Queek just literally fled from us because he was that afraid. We got Ekeclaw to deal with right here. And yes, undeniably, that is going to be a problem. I'm also a bit concerned about, like, you know, what's going to happen here. I'm just going to do some settlement trading if necessary. Like, this army, yeah. <laughs> Did these guys show up, like, I'll fight them manually and just obliterate them, because those flame cannons are going to do a heck of a lot of damage. So we're at 17. We need that hero capacity. How are we standing with uh, legendary grudges, though? Alright, so we just need northern... That's the annoying thing, isn't it? But at least we'll settle, we'll deal with Quick soon enough. And once that's done, we can... We finish one legendary grudge, or even two, and the Legendary Lord Confederation is available. Though, by that point, the campaign is over, more or less. Like, I wasn't thinking, like, oh, this is gonna be a really long campaign. No, it's been fun, though. I admit, it actually has been fun. So, Kostin, sign out. Stay tuned for more.